Dan, how tough moving from tight end to center? What, how, how dramatic is the change for, for you? Yeah, it was, a, it was definitely a big learning curve. And it kind of came with a lot of different stuff. But uh, I got great coaches, so they kind of helped me along the way. And it's something I enjoy doing. So I wasn't like sad about it or anything like that. I really took it up and listened to what the coach was telling me, so I just went with it. Were you skeptical you when they said that? I mean, yeah, I, I guess I didn't see it coming at least. Um, I didn't know if there, because Coach Frost came and talked to me, asked like what it meant to play for Nebraska, and I was like, oh, maybe he's thinking D-line or something, and then he pulled out center, so I'm like, all right, yeah, I mean, kind of went with it, just trusted him, and uh, now I'm here. Did you ever play D-line? No, I've never played O-line before, so really? everything was all kind of new to me. I mean, I guess I played O-line way back in like third grade, I had a little stripe in my helmet, I couldn't touch the ball. When did they bring that up? When did they start talking about it? Uh, early in the season, last year. So kind of made that move and slowly transitioned over. How much weight have you had to put on to, to get to where you're at right now? Uh, I put on a good 40 pounds. That's just short. I was about like 235, and now I'm up to 280. So. So when you go home, do people recognize it, or do they have to, you have to say? So you got a lot bigger. <laughs> yeah. Is that is that hard to carry the extra? Does it take some adjustment to, to carry the weight? In? No, I mean, it's definitely a little different. Like, I feel like every, but uh, I feel like I put it on the right way. The attrition has been awesome, and the strength has been incredible. So I feel like I've done well with that, and they, I just kind of trusted what they've told me to do, and everything's worked out great. How long does it take to become comfortable making all the calls? I'll put Alex Davis right back here. Uh, I mean, it took a little while. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be comfortable. I just got to keep working it, working with it. I think O-line is something that you can always keep learning. So, I mean, that's what I'm doing right now, just keep learning with it. Cam, how, how do you feel like you were able to showcase what you, the steps you've made this spring today in the spring game? Uh, I feel like I took a big leap, I mean, from what I've been doing at the start of spring ball to now. And I think it's all kind of been helpful from uh, working with our O-line coaches. Uh, Coach Austin has been awesome for me and uh, really helped me along the way. So I think it was, it was good getting out there and uh, just getting some snaps on the field in front of all them fans. I mean, they used you in about every possible way back in high school. How, how much did that kind of versatility with your athleticism help you in that transition to center? Uh, I don't know. I mean, going back to high school, playing running back and now playing O-line here, it's a big difference. But I think just, you know, being able to play different positions and move around, I think it gives you like a mindset and uh, knowledge of just have like a broader understanding. And that's something the center position needs a lot of, to be able to know what they're doing and maybe what other people are doing. So you know what holes that you would have wanted to hit as a running back because you're playing center now? Like uh, I don't know. I don't know about that, but um, I know the offense a little from the tight end position. So Is there a, is there a mental hurdle moving to center from a, a position where you touch the ball knowing that outside of snapping the ball, like, <laughs> you're never going to go out for passes? I mean... Yeah, I could maybe a little bit. I mean, the O line's not going to get any glory or anything like that. But uh, I really, I really love moving over here. The, the guys in the O line room are just awesome, and they really met me with open arms, and uh, I've enjoyed everything with them. What do you find fun about this? I mean, I mean, shoot, you get to line up and hit someone every play. I mean, what's wrong with that? I mean, I love it. Good, good to be physical every play. When you had, when you kind of been between you and Hunter and Will, I mean, none of you guys really have a lot of game experience. So yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of neat with all of us. I mean, none of us have had much experience, so it's just every every practice we're helping each other out, and everyone's just you know, if if we're not in, we're watching other person, seeing what they're doing, and what they could do better, and what we could do better. So everything's just kind of learning off each other. When you had that meeting with Coach Frost, what came to your mind about the history of this position in Nebraska? Uh, I don't know. I was just thinking about um, how I was going to gain all that weight, honestly. That was a big thing on my mind. But I just kind of trusted in what he said, and um, everything's worked out great. So it just started out kind of a general discussion about Nebraska football, and you knew something was coming? Yeah, I can kind of tell. I can kind of tell, but... Um, it's all been good so far. So then he said, eventually he says, so here's the deal. Yeah, I mean, 
playing playing for Nebraska doesn't doesn't really matter about me scoring touchdowns or anything. I don't really care about that. It's just playing for like home state and any way I can help this team out, um, I was on board with it.